Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you some tips about the Virgin Media Quick Start and how to do it, also and what you need to look out for. Outside your house, usually at the front somewhere, you should see a brown box that looks like this which is called an Omni Box or an older looking one. Ignore the cable that comes directly from the ground, you want to look for the one in this image on the left as that will show you which room in the house that your, the cable is going. Once you've found where the cable goes in through the wall, go inside your house through the side of that wall and on the wall there should be a white box that looks like this, it will be just above the skirting. It should say either Virgin Media on it or an old company name such as NTL, but it will look exactly the same or it might even be on its side, but it will be exactly the same in the box. If you've got broadband only or broadband and phone, you should get this lead. You will push the lead with the red end into the isolator on the wall and push the other black end into the back of the hub. Connect the power cable to the hole at the bottom. As you can see on the back there's four yellow slots, these are four ethernet slots and above that there's two light grey slots. These are for if you have telephone you should get a little dongle in your quick start pack. Um, one end will go into the back of the hub there and your telephone will plug directly into the little dongle. If you're having broadband TV and phone then the process starts the same. Plug the red labelled cable into the isolator. As you're having three services instead of just a broadband or just broadband and phone, the cable's a little different. This time you have two sets of two cables and what you need to do is split them down by pulling them back where the tape holds them together. This next section of the video shows you where everything should go. Starting with the TV box first and then moving on to the broadband after. The TV box and the broadband have two separate power cables. The power cable for the broadband goes into the centre of the black box and the power cable for the TV box goes into the, the side of the black box. You can see all the cables and where they should go from a different angle here. This one's the TV box. And this one's the broadband. This cable here is a HDMI. One end of it goes into the back of the TV box here and the other end goes into the back of the TV. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe.